Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a book that I know we have read before. We read it a long time ago, but it's one of my favorites. And I came across it at the library the other day, and I said, we need to read this again because it's such a good book. This book is called, Are You My Mother? Are you my mother? You know this story. It's about the little bird who falls out of his nest and goes looking for his mother and asks everybody, are you my mother? The best thing about this story is what happens at the end. And we need to get into it together because it's fun, fun, fun to read a book you love over and over again. So do you want to get into this book with Miss Dorothy again? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Are You My Mother? Written and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped! Oh no, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. Mommy's going to get some food for the baby because that egg's going to hatch soon. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. It hatched. There he is. There's baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Baby bird wants his mom and he's going to go look for her. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. And off he goes to find his mother. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Oh no, baby bird, there she is behind the rocks. She's finding food for you. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog, I am not your mother, I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother, the hen was not his mother, the dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? said the cow. I am a cow. Well, that's true. A cow cannot be a baby bird's mother. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? He began to wonder. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will I will. He's very determined now to find his mother. 
Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He's looking at that big machine, and he thinks it's his mother. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing, and he stood on the edge of the big machine. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. Snort, said the big machine. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up and up, 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 went the baby bird. He stuck inside the snort. But now where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here, says baby bird. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I? said Baby Bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put that baby right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Good job, snort. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said Baby Bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. Well, I sure do love that book. I love that the baby found his mother. And you know what? I love that as soon as that baby bird saw his mom, he knew exactly who it was. You're my mother. That's the special thing about babies and their moms. You always know who your mom is, and you always know that your mom's going to be there to love you, watch over you, take care of you. I love this book, and I'm so glad we got together to read it again. It's very, very special to Miss Dorothy, and I hope it's special to you, and I hope that tonight you'll look at your mom and you'll say, that's my mom, and I love her. I have a friend, her name is Tenley, and every time she sees her mom, she says, that's my mom. She's beautiful. God made her. I love that. I love it every time Tenley says it. Tenley loves her mom. And I know you love your mom too. And I think that you need to tell mom tonight how much you love her. And you can show her how much you love her by doing something very important. What is that? Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I have more books and I'm ready to read them to you.